Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make Marvel and DC villains shoes. This was inspired by Brizzy Voices, but I've changed it a little bit or quite a lot to with all the things available in my house. And these were old shoes that I never wanted to wear, so I just decided to experiment on them and it turned out amazing. So for this you'll be needing uh, printouts of comic strips and your favorite villains from both Marvel and DC. Just resize it, it doesn't need to be any particular size. And so I've separated them into villains and comics and make sure to get dialogues for the villains too to make it look more like a comic book. So then I'm using a, a glue stick and sticking on the various comic strips that I got for the base. So you just have to adjust it a little bit and stuff so that it fits properly on the shoe and none of the platform heel part is seen. And you can go crazy with the glue, it can go on top of the picture, no problem. In fact, it would be a bit better if the glue actually went on top of the picture. This will help it stick it even more firmly to the shoe. So now when you come to the curved portion, you'll, you can't obviously stick it on top for the look of the shoe will go. So you just place your comic strip and you just press along the part that you don't need so that you get a crease. Once you do that, you just take your scissors and cut along that crease and it should fit perfectly. Again, go crazy with the glue, put it on top of the previous picture, it doesn't matter. And in fact, the comic strips too can overlap. It will, it will just give it a more realistic look. Press it down firmly. So now I've stuck the comic base on the whole shoe. And so now you have to take your villain and apply glue on the picture. And then place it wherever you want it to. You can also, you can either put the glue straight away on the picture or on the shoe, it really doesn't matter. Place it and you just have to press it down firmly because you don't want the riddler falling off your shoe anytime soon. And the best part is you can go ahead and apply glue over the base and then to make it stick more firmly. It doesn't matter if the shoe gets sticky because I'll be fixing it soon. Just make sure that the pictures are stuck firmly and do not use Fevi stick because that doesn't stick at all. Well, just apply more glue and keep pressing it down firmly. And now I'm adding dear old Harley. So her picture doesn't exactly fit on the shoe so again I'm folding it and cutting off the extra part. Again, stick it onto the shoe, apply glue directly onto the picture or onto the shoe. As I said, it doesn't matter and you can also use the glue to pick up your pictures if you can't with your fingers. Stick her down firmly because you don't want her falling off your shoe. And also stick her dialogue near her because this will give it more of a comic book type thing. I don't own any comic books and even if I did own, I would not chop them up like how Brizzy did. So I'm just using printouts. And how can Harley be there without the Joker? So on the other side of the shoe, I am sticking the Joker. It's best if you use the comic book versions because this is completely inspired by the comics. So it's better if you use the ones that appear in the comics. Again, snip off any excess bits and stick him firmly to the shoe and add his dialogue too. This one is just a plain simple ha ha ha. Now you have to mix fevicol and water and there should be more fevicol than water. This is very important. This is extremely important. There should be more fevicol than water and because if you have more water then the pictures will, uh, the colors in the picture will start running and you do not want that. It will spoil the entire look. I added a bit more water than fevicol and it kind of sort of smeared and the colors from below came onto the villain's pictures and thankfully it wasn't too much of water so please add just a few drops of water more fevicol 
Why I'm doing this step is because we'll be applying clear nail polish on top of it. And if you directly apply clear polish over a colored picture, it'll look bad. So I'm applying glue, um, fevicol and water before that. And you don't need to be, st uh, you know, stingy with your glue and water. Just apply how much ever you want because the more... Uh, you and make sure to clean your place, otherwise your mother will scold you. That's very important. So take your clear nail polish and instead of going the long way and just taking from the bottle and applying, just pour a small amount directly onto the shoe and then use the brush to spread it across. So the reason why I'm doing this is so that the shoe becomes somewhat waterproof and the pictures don't smear. Brizzy used something called Mod Podge I guess and I have no idea what that is. So I'm just, you know, innovating stuff, innovating her idea and using fevicol and water and then topping it off with top coat. I feel that it gives a better look and the shoe looks a bit shiny too. And I'm pretty sure it will be water resistant because it's nail polish, come on. Wait for it to dry and then your shoes are done. That's it.